capable of carrying seven passengers at only 20 foot long and backed by the name that is synonymous with camping. Folks, this is the all new 2021 Coleman 19 CM. Welcome to the inside of the Coleman 19 CM. And folks, I'm super excited about this one. It is a brand new floor plan. And again, at just 20 feet long and able to carry seven passengers. This truly is a perfect traveler. If you're looking to, you know, do like a, a wine tour or something like that, drive around, go tailgating, just get from point to point. This one is an amazing one to do it. Even if it's just you or just a couple, this is still a great coach. Uh, we'll, we'll walk through, you'll see some of the, uh, a lot of things that this one has that I really like. And again, one of the things I like about it is that when I say it's a tailgater, because you don't have any slides or anything to contend with. So when you're traveling, if you need to quickly pull over, of course you have full access to the refrigerator, the bathroom and the sleeping space, which we'll see in just a moment. Now, if we take a look right down below at the entryway here, you'll see some uh, controls for your lights as well as a battery disconnect. So that way you can kill all power nice and quickly. You have your fire extinguisher down there too. Right up top, you'll see some storage there. Open this guy up, more storage located there. It is strut supported as it's overhead, very easy to get to. Right down below is a jump seat. So this is one of the seven uh, places to sit right here. You know, and the thing I like about this is everyone is right up front. So as you're traveling, you're going down the road, you're having great conversation, you're having a lot of fun. And that's what the motorhome life, for me anyway, is really all about. It's the travel experience, getting from point A to point B. When you get there, you know, whether it's a travel trailer, a, a fifth wheel or a motorhome, the experience is often the same. But while you're traveling in a motorhome, Again, you, everyone gets to, you're a lot more comfortable. You get better seating. You get to have more conversation. Uh, it's just a great overall experience. Right up top there is your microwave. Dometic fridge freezer combo. I'll open this one up for you. You have the drop down freezer compartment right there. This one does run off both propane and electric. Also has automatic switch over. You'll see your privacy curtain right here for the front. I'll show you that in a, a little bit. That way, of course, you can close off the front window. Now, if you notice, this is a rear kitchen layout, right? And so the, our main bed is going to be up front. And as I said, we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but because of that, right, you still need a place to hang your clothes. So here they give you a nice kitchen wardrobe. Um, kind of a funny placement, but you, you know, because there's just not a ton of space in here, because it, it is a shorter uh, class C, this makes perfect sense, right? So there it is. They give you a spot to hang your clothes, which you definitely have to have. A couple pull-out drawers underneath, you know, so maybe for your underwear, socks, things like that. Or if you want to put, um, you know, flatware in there, you can do that. But I think there's a better spot I'll show you in a moment. Storage underneath there and then right here. So this is probably where I would put all my flatware and everything else. You do get two of those drawers. And then the bottom one is actually pretty open there. So you have spot for pots and pans as well as the space underneath the sink. The countertop is an upgraded countertop. It's a... Uh, uh, like a heat pressed uh, laminate or like a thermal foil that they put on there. It does allow you to undermount the sink. They didn't do it here. They did go with the top mount, but it is a big stainless steel bowl. I mean, you can see how deep that bowl is right there. High rise faucet over to the side. You'll see your two burner recessed cooktop. So you can use this as prep space. Flip that up to access those two burners. And you have plenty of countertop space over here with an electrical outlet. So that way, if you need a spot for a coffee maker, toaster, blender, something like that, uh, you have the space for it. Storage all the way around the top. Just kind of show you what you're working with there. So, you know, you have spots for cups, bowls, plates, spices, everything else you need. And then your main control panel will be located here. So, uh, you'll see a couple things. One, of course, is your water heater, your pump, your tank monitoring panel, and the generator. This one does come with the 4,000 watt Cummins Zone and generator so that you are fully self sufficient. You, of course, you have your hood right there too, and that is directly above the cooktop thermostat over to the side. Now this will control the furnace, direct vent furnace. There is a roof mounted AC, a 13.5K BTU, which in, you know, an RV this size, a 20 foot RV uh, is almost overkill, right? It'll cool you down really quickly. Uh, but the thermostat for the furnace is there. Now this one has a wet bath. And I know uh, at first that turns a lot of people off, but I'm telling you, come on in with me, right? So one of the things I do like here is <laughs> for being like a, a shower space, it's actually fairly spacious. So if I sit down on the toilet, you know, I actually have decent room for being a wet bath. A lot of times wet baths are pretty tight. Um, you know, especially if you move your feet over here to the side, like I have a lot of space here where, you know, I can sit here comfortably. It's, um, you know, I'm for my shoulders. I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm really not hitting on either wall. 
if you know, it's I got I have space. And then as far as showering itself, when I stand up, more than enough headroom, especially with this skylight. Folks, you can be darn near seven foot and still be able to stand in the shower, which is pretty cool. Uh, you will see your hand wand right there, make it nice and easy to shower off, a light mirrored medicine cabinet, a sink. So, you know, after you're done doing your business, need to wash your hands, you can do that. Covered toilet paper holder, and then, of course, your vent fan will be located there too. But in a coach this size, I think giving it a wet bath was the right thing to do. You know, you don't want to take up a bunch of space with the bathroom. I'd rather just have something simple and efficient like that, have the kitchen space in the back, and leave room for more seating, because that's really what this coach is about, is being able to get from point A to point B with all of your friends, family, everything, uh, you know, everyone else that you want. So you'll notice the dinette located here. And so cool thing about this is each seat has two seat belts. You can ride legally four passengers here, which is awesome. A lot of times you don't get that in a dinette. You'll also notice the cup holders. So you have places to put beverages. This table, of course, does drop down into a bed. You'll see the single uh, pole that we have here as well as the swing arm on the wall. The other thing I really like about this table is it is very sturdy. Um, honestly, I wish that more manufacturers, uh, when it comes to like travel trailers and motorhomes, would pay attention to how they did this table because I think they nailed it. And I think that if, you know, instead of having the double pedestal, I think if more manufacturers went this way with their dinette and some of the towables, uh, it would greatly benefit. You'll also notice right back here, you have a spot for um, a car seat. So if you need to use a latch system, you know, on the back and just strap a car seat in, you have the capability for that there. Across the top, big storage here. This will probably be a couple of your biggest storage areas inside. And again, as I mentioned, it's strut assisted, so very simple and easy to open. Huge window right here, letting in lots of natural light. Of course, you have the pleated shades, so you can drop those down for privacy at night. Now, if we take a look underneath, you'll notice two speakers, so you can listen to some music here, a couple LED lights, your standard plug-in, and then two USB ports right there. Coming up to the front, so in this one, this is your primary bed right up top here. Um, so if you know if, if you don't think you can get up and down a ladder very well, this may not be the perfect situation. Um, but the thing I do like about this is that every Class C, unless it's you know designed purely as a couple's coach, they put this into an entertainment center, but every other Class C will have a bed up top. And a lot of people, if it's just a couple or a single person, don't use it. But here, you get, you're getting full use out of it because this is your primary bed. They were able to shrink that size down, you know, uh, take a couple feet off the back end by not having that dedicated uh, extra bed. Plus, this has a 800 pound weight capacity, folks. So, you know, think about that. If that's, been, if that's your concern, if you see this and you're like, oh, Ian, I don't know, I've seen some manufacturers, they only have 350 pound capacity. They have uh, extra reinforced this and it's 800 pound capacity. So. Uh, you can definitely feel comfortable in knowing that. And then you have privacy curtains, so you can close that off. Plus, right up top is your swing arm TV. So that way when you're sitting in here, you want to watch TV, you can. Or when, you know, if you're awake, you're cooking in the kitchen, you're sitting in the dinette, you're able to swing that around and watch. And then right down below is our chassis. You have the leatherette covered seats, which are really nice. I'll get right in here. So this is the, the new Ford chassis. You'll see here, folks, I have plenty of leg room, right? I'm not cramped at all. It is comfortable. You have uh, plenty of cup holders there as well. And then, you know, your standard stuff, your climate control, and then your uh, multimedia center there. But as I said, for, for the money, for what you get in this coach, it is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go take a look at the outside. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2021 Coleman 19 CM. Folks, this one is built on the new Ford chassis. That's that 7.3 liter V8, putting out 350 horsepower and 473 foot-pounds of torque. You'll have your extended mirrors, so you're able to see beyond the body, but just take a, take a second and take a look at, again, just the size of it, right? A 20-foot Class C. Folks, this thing is easy to drive, it's easy to park, and as I say, you need to pull into that spot at the tailgate, you can do so. You're going on a wine tour, you need to pull into the parking lot. It's not like you have this big, long, huge bus where you have to find special parking. You know, you pull in, you take up maybe two parking spots and you are good to go. You'll notice the power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. LED light strip, so it lights up your campsite at night. So if you want to sit out here to some chairs, hang out, and just enjoy each other's company, you can do that. I also like this, the fact that this is a Solera awning and it's an easy pitch. And what I mean by that is you can take this uh, right here, just grab it, pull it down, 
And just like that, if you take a look up at the awning, I have adjusted the pitch. You'll see now I can, you know, have it run one way or the other for water runoff, or if I want to drop them both down to, you know, because the sun's starting to come down, I can do that and still continue to get shade. Cool thing about this is I don't have to readjust it. When I roll this awning back in, it'll automatically fix itself. Um, I'm going to do it right now just so no one walks by and hits their head. But the fact that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it, just kind of a set it and forget it is a great feature. Um, you'll see here, you know, pretty standard stuff getting in. Of course, you have your deadbolt, so that way, you know, you can lock it up at night for protection and privacy. Um, I did forget to show inside. Speaking of privacy, you can see right here. So there, there is the Velcro. I showed you that um, the cover inside the refrigerator, that will just go right here. So it will block off that cab area. So you can close all the windows, shut the door, block off that cab. So, you know, at night you will have privacy in the RV as well. Making our way back a little bit further. Electrical outlet, you need to plug anything in. That, of course, will be the place to do it. This uh, chassis is upfitted by Moride, just like um, a, a lot of other Class Cs that, uh, Thor, that Thor builds. Uh, then that's a big deal, right? Because Moride is a licensed upfitter, and they do a lot of things that a lot of other manufacturers don't. Like, um, you know, they computer balance your drive shaft. They, uh, you know, they keep in specs of all the manufacturer's warranty to make sure that that warranty is intact all the way through. There's some manufacturers, unfortunately, or some upfitters that don't do that. You will see right back here, you have extra storage. Always a good thing to have external storage, and so you get some there. Then making our way around to the very back, um, we'll start right up top. This one does have the backup camera, so that way as you're backing up, uh, you're able to see behind you, able to see your spotter, make sure you're not going to hit anything. You'll notice the bumper located there dropping down. This is another big one, folks. 8,000 pound hitch. On a 20 foot RV, you get an 8,000 pound hitch. So you want something that's easy to drive. You want to be able to tow a trailer behind you full of extra goodies. This gives you the capability to do that. Your uh, tank valves are also right back here. You can see your gray and black tank valve are located back here. And the termination for that will be located right over to the side. So that's where your termination is. And then on this side, um, you can see your detachable power cord will be plugged in right there. You have cable. There's also a little bit of storage, if you can see the storage. Yep, so there's that. And then a little bit further up are your tank fills, as well as city water connection. And then right down here, I'll open this up for you. That will be your 4,000 watt Cummins Onan generator. So that will power everything inside the coach. Two other things I want to talk about real quick. One is right down next to that. So this will be the storage location for your sewer hose. So that's where it's tucked away. And then inside, I forgot to mention it, but in one of the booth dinettes, there's a little hole about this big. Uh, and that's actually for the table leg. So when you drop that down into a bed, you can take the table leg and stick that into the dinette. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Coleman 19CM. If you're interested in this wonderful little Class C and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Also in the comments section, let me know what you think they nailed, what possibly they failed, and if you were designing the RV, what you might change. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.